Hi guys, it's Matthew here. Welcome back to another video on my channel today. Today in this video, guys, um, um, we're actually going to be doing a video that was a lot less, that was, that's pretty much better than the last video I did. So, if you guys saw the very last, the, the very last video I did, um, I did, um, I finally did a video on why... I hate Ryan Foley, Reese Witherspoon's ex-husband, and, um, Reese Witherspoon, she is my favorite actress, and so, won't be talking about Ryan Foley off of, um, on my channel probably ever again unless something comes up and whatnot when I'm talking about Reese Witherspoon and whatnot, but, but, um, but, just to get my mind off of him, to um, I think today in this video, guys, I'm going to show you every movie I own starring Reese Witherspoon. Yes. Um, let me know in the comments section down below, guys, what movies do you own starring Reese Witherspoon? And Reese Witherspoon, she's my favorite actress and whatnot, like, um, the, you're, um, re if you're a Reese Witherspoon fan, you might not like Ryan Philippe either, but he stopped benching him because he, because he really makes me upset. Okay. So, guys, um, so those of you that, so those, so those of you guys that are new to the channel, um, I make more, I make videos on anything, so I do more than just movies and physical media related stuff I do I I do Legos video games and all sorts of stuff like that so if that kind of stuff is your speed to watch on YouTube um, please do um, go watch a couple of my other videos give a couple of my other videos a chance and if you do like this channel please do give this video a big thumbs up smash that like button and hit that red subscribe button make it gray not red and most importantly Ring that notification bell so you don't miss any fun videos on my channel. But with that, any further ado, guys, enough with the yammering. Let's get started with every Reese Witherspoon movie I own. Starring her. And um, one other thing I do, and one other thing I do want to mention before we get started, though, guys. Um, I'm really excited for Legally Blonde 3 that is still in the works, and... Um, and I heard um, a possibility for seeing three, and um, and she and she's she's not in this movie where the credits sing, but it comes out this weekend, and and she's actually producing it, so I'm really excited to go check that out as well. Okay, enough with the Amron. Let's start with. So. I'm starting off with um, with one of the more recent ones that I got here. Let me put some light on. There we go. That's better. Starting with one of the recent pickups that I got with her in it, um, and that is Home Again. Yes. Um, um, the um one of my on one of my last Fye runs, I did pick this one up because. Um, the first time I watched it, I didn't really like it that much, but then I rewatched it and it um and it was good and so I did pick it up at um at FYE because um this is actually not a bad movie at all. Like I did check the Rotten Tomatoes on it, they're not good, but I would still recommend this movie actually. It's um it's it's a good it's a good storyline. Like um like it's about Reese Witherspoon. She's she's um she's the she's divorced from her husband, and then she's got two daughters, and then and then she meets up with these three guys that don't that don't really have a place to live or nothing like that, and so she gives them a place to live, and then there's a lot of other things that go on and whatnot, but. It's a good story, like, um, like, if you guys have never seen Home Again, I would, I highly recommend you watch this, because this movie is actually not bad and whatnot, so you should probably definitely watch, um, Home Again, it's really good. And, yes, um, I do have Sing, um, this is the very first Sing, I do... I did pick this up 
um, when it um, when it came out. As a matter of fact, um, so yeah, um, Sing is a fantastic Illumination animated picture movie. Like um, like it's really good. Like you got um, you got a you got a great you got a great cast right um, right here. Um, Matthew McConaughey is in it. Um, he does the voice of Buster Moon. And then um, Nick LaCroix, he does the voice of, I always forget his name. And then Taron Egerton, he's the voice of Johnny. And then Reese Witherspoon is the voice of the pig. And then Scarlett Johansson does Ash. And then Seth MacFarlane um, does the voice of the mouse. Um, I never knew who does Mina and whatnot. I even looked it up and I still don't know who she is, but yes. Um, scene two is, um, I mean, it's, the first scene is good, and, um, if you guys have also have never seen this movie, you should watch it, and what I'm, which I'm pretty sure most of you have, um, have seen it already, but it's a really good movie. I would highly recommend you guys watch it if you haven't already, because it's another really great, it's a great animation picture. And um, next next up, I do have Sing Two on um on Blu-ray as um as well. So yes, if you guys have not seen seen Sing Two yet, you should definitely check it out. It's a another great animation picture on this one. Um, the um it's it's a touch better than the first one i i will i will say like um like it's it has a good story it's it's a really great storyline like like you sh you guys shouldn't really need to check this out like the performances in here are fantastic and it's it's a really good story to it um i'm really i'm really excited um i'm really excited to to see if they'll do a sing three because I did hear some reports that it's possibly confirmed. I'm really, really excited to check Sing 3 out. Like, so if you guys have not seen Sing 2 yet, you should definitely watch it. It's really good. Um, next up, um, this is, um, um, so, so my mom has had this one for a while, and I recently watched it, and that is Man and the Moon. This was one of her very first movies Reese Witherspoon ever did. So yes, I, I um, I did pick this one up. Um, I I had no idea where my mom got this from because she's had this one for for a little while and whatnot, like. This is this this is Reese Witherspoon. This is like one of her very first movies, and she's really, 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 really young in this movie. Like, like I had no idea what this movie was gonna give me and whatnot, but it's it's a good um it's a good story, and it um and and then um and um and so um. You guys should really watch it. It's a it's a fantastic movie. It's more of a friendship movie than a rom com. So so yeah, you guys should definitely watch this if you haven't really like. It's a good story. It's a good movie. Like if you guys plan to give this movie a watch, and if this is your first time, I don't want to get. I don't want to tell you what it's about because I don't really want to spoil it or nothing. But. Um, so, um, so yeah, you guys should definitely check this movie out. It is really good. Next up is Walk the Line. Fan a fantastic movie. Like, this is another one of my recent pickups, um, because I did get this also on one of my last FYE runs that I did and whatnot. So so yeah, so Walk the Line with Reese Witherspoon is a great movie. Like if you guys have never seen Walk the Line, you should definitely watch it. So it's kind of a musical. A lot of people don't really consider movies like this a musical, but it's based off of um it's based off of um 
Johnny Cash's life and whatnot. Like, um, like it's a good biopic and whatnot. It, like, if you guys have never seen Walk the Line, you definitely need to check this movie out. It's a great movie. And, and it's a fantastic movie as well, but it's, it's really good. Like, if you guys have never seen it, you should definitely watch it because... It is a great movie. Um, next up is, of course, if you're a Reese Witherspoon fan, you gotta have Legally Blonde, so it's no secret that I don't have Legally Blonde in my movie collection. So yes, Legally Blonde, I normally don't gravitate towards chick flicks or rom-coms or anything like that but Reese Witherspoon um is my favorite actress and so she's the she's so she's my main actress that I gravitate toward that does a lot of chick flicks and rom-coms like yeah this movie is um is really really good I'm pretty sure a lot of Reese Witherspoon fans have seen this movie like like I wouldn't be surprised if um if I would be very surprised if a Reese Witherspoon fan has never seen Legally Blonde. Legally Blonde is a great movie. It is a great, 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 fantastical, good time of a movie. Like, like it's really, really good. All right, a lot of people are probably gonna give me rough for this one, but. But yes, I I did I also did um, find Legally Blonde to Red White and Blonde. Um, so yes, um, so 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 the Legally Blonde movies I didn't um, I didn't get them at Fye. I got them at a garage sale. So yeah, so yeah, so Legally Blonde is um is a really good movie. Like like. Like, I know a lot of people didn't like the second one as much as the first one, but I kind of liked it as much as the first one. Like, um, like, um, like, I do like the whole content and the criteria of the movie that it, um, that it has, and, um, and it had a happy ending, like, like, um, like, like, um, like she changed the law. Um, to get him to get um to get Brucer that that's the dog um to get his mother back and then she got and then she got married at the end so it was um it was a great it, I like the whole storyline of it I know a lot of people didn't really like I know a lot of people didn't really like it as much as the first but I purposely enjoyed it as much as the first it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't like the worst sequel ever like. A lot of people think I should probably not like it as much as the first, but I like it just as much as the first. But it's not a bad movie. I would um, I would prob I would probably rate it the 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 same as the first, probably ten out of ten for the for both Legally Blondes, cause I really do like them just as much. So so we're not bad. So the second one's not not no not 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 bad or anything. Alright, um, this is probably another one that, that most, this is probably another one that, um, most Reese Witherspoon fans have seen, and that is Sweet Home Alabama. Yeah, like, like, I did, I did watch the, I did see Sweet Home Alabama one time, I didn't get around to watching it again, but... So I had a garage sale and um and I did and I did pick this I did pick this one up as well. It's it's not bad. Like it like it's not you it's usually not the kind of movie I would gravitate towards to to watch, but but this movie um but but this one I didn't mind. Like I like this one I wouldn't rewatch I wouldn't rewatch frequently like other Reese Witherspoon movies, but I would, but I I would rewatch this one enough in order in order in order to buy it. But it's not. It's actually not that bad of a movie. Like um, like it's it's really good. Like if you guys have never seen Sweet Home Alabama, I would recommend this movie if you're a big Reese Witherspoon fan because it's actually not a bad movie at all. Like 
Like, so yeah, you guys really need to check this movie out if you have never seen it. It is really good. Alright. So, that does it for Sweet Home Alabama. Um, okay, let's talk about this one. Four Christmases. This is my favorite Christmas movie of all time. Like, like in 2021, you guys may have realized that I did, um... My top 10 favorite Christmas movies and this was in my top five like it like it became my first favorite Christmas movie like like when I did that video the night before with Seth Rogen and Joseph Gordon Everett was my favorite Christmas movie but it's now my second favorite movie because this one moved in um to um to my number one spot like this is um this is a great movie like if you guys have if you guys have never seen Four Christmases. Um, you should watch it this upcoming Christmas because it is um, it is a great movie and whatnot. And so, and those of you that um, that never heard of this movie, so so it's about Reese Witherspoon and Vince Vaughn, their um their their girlfriend and boyfriend. And then so here's what they do every Christmas. They they um they go to Hawaii. Um, every Christmas so they don't have to worry about celebrating Christmas and then what happens is Reese Witherspoon her parents get divorced and then Vince Vaughn's parents get divorced and then so what they have to do is that they have to go to all four houses and so they have to do all four Christmases in one day so they so they have to do Vince Vaughn's mom's house Reese Witherspoon's mom's house and uh Vince Vaughn's mom's house and Reese Witherspoon's mom's house, and so, and so there's a lot going on in this movie. It's um, it's actually not that bad of a movie. Like I would recommend you watch this this upcoming Christmas if you've never seen it, cause it's it's another really good. It's another really good. It's a good time of a Christmas movie. I would recommend you watch it. All right. Um, next up is, um, I have, um, Monsters vs. Aliens, um, one of my all-time favorite DreamWorks animation movies. Yes, I did, um, I did pick this up, um, this was another one of my FYE runs, like, it wasn't one of my very last ones, but, but it, um, but it was a run that I did, um, last year, I believe, but, but anyway, guys, moving on. Monsters vs. Aliens is worth it. I know I know a couple of people said it it um it was bad, but it's not bad. Come on guys. Give this movie a big a big review. Like um like um like like it's got a great cast. Um Rain Wilson and Hugh Laurie are, are in this movie as well, but I don't really like I don't really care for either one of those guys as an as an actor, but um, Reese Witherspoon, she voices Susan, and then the blob guy right here, his name is Bob, um, he's voiced by Seth Rogen, and then we got the missing link here on the back. Um, he is voiced by Will Arnett, and uh, and then we got the president right here um, that is voiced by Stephen Corbear. I do like Stephen Corbear a lot. Like he's not that much of an actor because he is a talk he is a talk show host, so he interviews um celebrities and whatnot. And um so Hugh Laurie, he voices the Dr. Cockroach guy, and then um and then Rain Wilson, his character is not is not um is not on here as much, but but yeah. This movie deserves to have a lot of credit because this movie needs a lot of credit because because if you're going to have if you're going to have a bunch of famous people in this movie you um you really need to give this movie more credit and money because this movie is great it's another good animation picture and it's really good so yeah please do check this movie out guys if you haven't already All right. Last movie, last Reese Witherspoon movie I own in my collection, and this was, and this is, and this was another one of my last Fye runs. And 
That is, this means war. Two spies, one girl, no rules. That's what it says here on the back. Yes. So if so 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 when I showed you guys what I when I picked this movie up, it's it's actually not that bad of a movie. Like I did check the Rotten Tomatoes, the Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, dropped it. Um, um, the Rotten Tomatoes are bad on this movie, but I actually kind of enjoy it for for what it is. Like so. So like so like these two guys um they're um they're secret agents and whatnot and then so what and then so individually um they meet up with Reese Witherspoon and 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 they don't know and Reese Witherspoon doesn't know she's dating these two guys at the same time like um which are Chris Pine and Tom Hardy I do like both of them as an actor and so basically they're on a secret mission and then so Reese Witherspoon she doesn't know that these two guys know each other because she's just dating them individually and she doesn't realize that she's dating two guys at the same time and so and so it's a great spy movie and it's a great action packed movie like like I would recommend you guys watch this movie because it's actually not that bad of a movie at all like if you guys have never seen it you should definitely watch it because it's a really good movie all right guys that is every reese witherspoon movie i own in my collection um let me know in the comment section down below guys what reese what movies you you own starring reese witherspoon reese witherspoon again reese witherspoon is my favorite actress and whatnot and so, without any further ado, guys, that wraps up this video. I'm going to go get bring you back to more videos. Um, and, and those of you that are new to the channel, I do more than just movies and physical media related content. I also do, I also do Legos, video games, and all kinds of stuff like that. So if that kind of stuff is your speed to watch on YouTube, please do go watch a couple of my other videos. Give a couple of my other videos a chance, and if you do like this channel, please do give this video a big thumbs up, and smash that like button, and leave a like and a comment, and most importantly, please do hit that red subscribe button, make it gray not red, and also guys, um, mo most importantly of all, press that notification bell so you don't miss anything in the future. And so you don't miss a single fun video that I post on my channel onto YouTube. Well, thank you for ever do, guys. I'm going to go get bringing you back to more videos, and I will see you all in the very next video. Bye.